so it's been a while since I've done any kind of talking vlog but I thought I would pick up the camera and start vlogging again because these next few months I'm going through a lot of different kind of life transitions and I'm also traveling a lot so I thought it'd be fun to just document everything and have some memories to look back on but yeah this week I am doing a week in my life vlog so I have work the next few days and I work night shifts so it's going to be the next three nights that I'm working but yeah I thought this would be kind of the last chance to show my night shift routine because this is actually my last week of work <laughs> I put in my letter a few weeks ago and this is gonna be my last week working at the hospital that I currently work at it's definitely very bittersweet I'll talk about it more in future videos yeah, I just made the decision to move out of Seattle. But yeah, this is my last chance to show my night shift routine. This is my last stretch of night shift the next two days. So I am working Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And today it's currently Sunday. So usually I'll go to sleep around like 3 to 5 a.m. I woke up at like 12.30 p.m. today. And I think I'm just gonna do some errands for the next few hours. Yeah, I'll just show you what I'm up to. The first item of business I have is to unpack. So I kind of like unpacked some of my stuff from my backpack already, but I need some of my suitcase, so. currently 5 45 i did lay in bed for 30 minutes attempting to take a nap but it didn't work so yeah i'm up and i'm gonna get ready so this is my work bag i'm using my friend's bag from paley studios but yeah it's just a good tote bag with a lot of pockets there's a huge one inside that has a zipper and then i use this outside one for my keys for easy access um and then i do bring in my own masks to work just so it's more comfortable They're not really requiring us to wear n95 anymore but i think this one is still more comfy than like the regular like thin face masks i feel like that one touches like so much skin on your face so i feel like this one's better to prevent breakouts after wearing a mask all day at work welcome to my closet i think i'm gonna go with like a navy blue pair today yeah this one so this one's like i think it's called dark harbor but it's like the high-waisted pair and i feel like it's pretty comfortable okay i have my tracker badge that i put like on my pants pocket and i always carry this pen and my chapstick with me in my pocket here and then this is my pen. it's been a little bit chilly in the morning so i'm just gonna get a little light jacket to wear so i can wear this jacket before and after work but i can't wear it during my shift because we have this scrub in all the way up to our elbows so we can't have any like rings or apple watches either yeah, it's not too, too cold right now, so I'm just gonna stuff it in my bag. I guess I'll do a little what's in my bag. Um, oh my god, I look so crusty right now. But in the pocket in the front, I just keep my face masks that I bring to work. So I have my keys in the front for easy access. My jacket that I threw in. And then in the zippered pocket inside, I have my wallet just like a little card holder and then i bring wired earphones to watch netflix during my break and then i bring two little pouches so the first one is just my toothbrush and also my retainer's case and then i have my little pouch that has a lot of different things so i bring like a couple extra panty liners with me and then a lot of different pain meds just in case so i have like this tylenol and also a couple of like mini advils more tylenol 
extra chapstick i have one in my pocket but like sometimes i forget so this is like lifesaver i have to always have chapstick at work because i'm always scared my lips are gonna get dry yeah and then a couple clips and extra hair ties but yeah that's basically all i have Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think I'm gonna head out now. I'm gonna go a little bit earlier today because it's been a while since I've been to work, like maybe a week. So just gotta get back into my routine. Yeah, let's go. For shoes, when I first started, I used to wear my hokas a lot and they were really comfortable, but then I got these platform Crocs and I've just been wearing it to work ever since. I still have my hokas in my locker just in case, but I think it's really cute and it's really comfortable. Look at my little gibbets too. They're really cute. Okay, so I'm in my car now. <laughs> so I usually try to leave my house around 6.20, um, 6.30 at the latest. Okay, it's really dark, but I'm currently at the parking lot of work. I will probably see you at the end of my shift. Wish me luck! Hello! So, it is currently 8.30 and I just made it back home. I have two more days left after this, which doesn't feel real, but I am going to shower and rest up and then I will see you when I wake up. Hello, so it is currently 4.45 p.m. It's up around 10.30 and then I woke up at 3.30 which is really unfortunate. So yeah, I only got 5 hours. I don't feel great but this will have to do. <laughs> I have this tofu soup pack and I just made some rice. Yay, I'm all done cooking. So this is the final product and I'm just gonna chill and watch the Netflix. So it's time to go into work now. Um, this is my outfit for today. I'm just wearing a t-shirt to be more comfy and then some jogger bottoms but yeah i'm just wearing my school t-shirt today because it's way more comfy than like the fixed top so let's go just making a quick coffee with my espresso machine just gonna put a couple cues in. cheers okay so for lunch today I just have this Vietnamese style salad that I got from Amazon Fresh. I've actually had this a couple times before and it's like really good. And the portion is pretty big. Let's go! So I'm off work now. I stopped by Chinatown this morning to pick up a cake from Tuli Shore. Yeah, I thought it'd be nice to just bring a cake for my last day for everyone to share. Got the cake. <laughs> yeah, cake haul. Too late, sure. Our cakes are really good, by the way. But yeah, I think I'll just head home now and go to sleep right away. See you when I wake up. So I'm getting ready for my last day now. Let me show you the cake. I want to take it out. Dun dun dun. This is the cake. But yeah, isn't it cute? It's like a little fruit cake. I'm actually not sure what's inside, but. I'm really excited! But yeah, my friend Toby is actually working today too and when we have days that we work together, we take turns driving so she's actually gonna pick me up today Let's go! Wait, really? <laughs> Watching. I know. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed.
for your vlog. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> just finished my last shift at work. Yay. Whoa. <laughs> McDonald's. Yay. We're going to go to McDonald's now. Hello, Mr. Donald. How are you today? Um, hi, how are you? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, can I get an egg McMuffin? An egg muffin? Yeah. And two hash browns. Alright. You want to drink? Anything to drink? Um, and then one small orange juice. This is the hall. It looks kind of ugly. Finally made it home, but I'm done working. I'm so excited to not be working the next few months and also to no longer be doing night shifts. I just felt so crazy and so surreal. The beginning was definitely very, very rough and like took a lot of getting used to, but now I feel like I've gotten to a point where I'm like a little bit more comfortable with the job and though even though i still have a lot to learn at baseline i feel like i have a good foundation of knowledge i've definitely gone to a place where i can like come into work and like kind of have my own routine and like know how things should be done but yeah big changes are coming ahead it feels weird to come to a point where i'm ready to close this chapter of my life thanks for following along on my three night work stretch thanks for watching bye <laughs>